In this video, I'll be setting up Quick Connect on a Synology NAS running DSM-7. I'll go over what Quick Connect is and how it works. Then I'll enable Quick Connect and go over the advanced settings that are available. Quick Connect is Synology's hassle-free way of allowing secure access to a Synology NAS over a local area network or over the internet without the need to set up port forwarding rules on your router. Synology's aim with Quick Connect is to make administering a remotely accessible Synology NAS simple and easy for anyone without the need of advanced IT or networking knowledge. When you set up Quick Connect, you'll establish a Quick Connect ID of your choice that you can use to connect a client application to your Synology NAS regardless of where you are located. Quick Connect first tries to establish a direct connection to your Synology NAS over the LAN or WAN that you are currently on using its LAN WAN detection. If the Synology NAS isn't accessible through the LAN or WAN, the next connection option that's tried is Quick Connect hole punching. Here, the client application and the remote Synology NAS try to establish a connection with the help of Quick Connect by punching holes through the NAT on both ends. If established, a virtual tunnel is created between the client and the Synology NAS. Hole punching provides similar connection speeds as if you were using port forwarding because the virtual tunnel created is a direct connection between the client and the Synology NAS. If a virtual tunnel can't be established through hole punching, Quick Connect's relay service is used. Here, Quick Connect coordinates a connection between the client application and the remote Synology NAS through a relay server to establish the virtual tunnel. Using a relay server is the slowest method to connect a client application and remote Synology NAS and is the last method used if other connection options aren't successful. Quick Connect provides access to specific Synology NAS mobile and desktop clients like Synology Drive Client and DS Note. Browser access to various applications like this station manager and file station as well as the DSM service file sharing. Quick Connect provides end-to-end -end encryption over the virtual tunnels that are established, ensuring security. And while you do need to register your NAS with Synology to take advantage of Quick Connect, and Quick Connect servers are used to establish and relay connections, Synology does safeguard the information you provide both digitally and physically at their data centers. To learn more about Quick Connect, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Synology Quick Connect white paper. Now, let's enable Quick Connect in DSM-7. First, go to Control Panel, External Access, and select Quick Connect. Click the box to enable Quick Connect, which brings up this window that wants you to sign into your Synology account or sign up for a new account to enable Quick Connect. I'll click Sign In, which redirects me to Synology's authentication page, where I'll log in with my Synology account and then click Continue, where I'm redirected back to the DSM Quick Connect screen. Now I'm able to enter in a Quick Connect ID that I'd like to use, and I can finish things up by clicking Apply. After some initialization, you'll get details on how to access DSM through Quick Connect, along with the Quick Connect ID you'll need to use to access your Synology NAS through mobile devices and computer client applications. Let's also look at the advanced settings available for Quick Connect. Under Options, enabling the Quick Connect Relay Service allows Quick Connect to use Synology's relay servers when there is no direct access to DSM. Automatically create port forwarding rules creates port forwarding rules automatically if your router supports UPnP. Permissions allow you to enable or disable what applications or services you want to be able to use Quick Connect. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how Quick Connect works to establish a secured connection to your Synology NAS wherever you may be. And if you use or plan to use Quick Connect, leave a comment down below to let me know how you are using it or if this video helped in your decision to give Quick Connect a try. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Thanks so much for watching.